PayPal Ghana. In this video, I'm going to show you how to shop online with PayPal in Ghana. So without much ado, let's hop onto the PC and I'll show you how to go about this. So before you can buy with PayPal, you would need a PayPal account. So I'll link to a video where I show you how to create a PayPal account from scratch. So click on the link up here or go into the description area. I'll put every link to any video or any website I'll be recommending in this video in the description. Go there and use those links. That is the easiest way to get to these platforms. So if you have created your PayPal account already, which I presume and I assume you have watched the video and done that because it's quite easy. Within 10 to 20 minutes, you should be done even less than that. I would use my PayPal account for this purpose and show you examples of how I have purchased with PayPal online. So with PayPal, you can buy products and services alike. But first of all, let me tell you about the anatomy of a PayPal account. A PayPal account consists of two very important aspects. PayPal is used to pay and it's, it's also a payment processor. So people can pay you through PayPal and you can also pay people through PayPal. It's a collection and a receiving account as well. So you can receive monies and people can also take monies from your PayPal account. I hope I am <laughs> I'm making it very easy for you, but that is basically what it means. So if you see an amount on this PayPal account, it's an amount someone paid for probably a product or a service rendered to that person. So when someone pays you, it hits your PayPal account and that is recorded there. So on your PayPal account, you have a PayPal balance, just like you have a a bank account balance. This is your PayPal balance. Since PayPal is an online platform and it's also an a payment processor, you can also link a card when you have created the account. So if you have started creating your account, during the process, you'll be told to link a card or a bank. Ghana is still not PayPal compliant, but you can link a Ghanaian card and I recommend the Afri card. I'll link to a video about the Africa in the description area and this is what the Africa looks like. Let's go into UBA bank and see what the Africa looks like. Let's go into the images. This is what the Africa looks like. UBA Africa. You go to any UBA branch and they show you this card. This card has a 16 digit number in front here and a 3 digit security code and in an expiry date in front here and if you want a customized card it will have your name on it that will take about a week or two to have a customized card which i don't think is necessary within an hour or two you should have your prepaid card at any bank premises and the details you need for this card is also in the video which is in the description we are going to use this card we are going to link this card to our PayPal account. So I have linked my Africa to this account and there it is. This is my Africa. That's the last four digits of the card. How to do all this, you can find in the video I have linked to in the description area. So now I also have a card linked to this account. So this is the anatomy of a PayPal account. Either you have money on your account or if you have just created your account, you have a zero zero balance. That doesn't mean you can buy with your PayPal account. You can still buy with your PayPal account. How do you do that then? PayPal would use your card linked to the PayPal account. So in other words, PayPal is going to use this card when I want to buy anything with my PayPal account. I rather prefer PayPal using this card to buy instead of this balance here. Why? Because I have more options when you use my card. I know what I'm buying and the amount and quantity 
is what I have on my card. So if I'm buying something worth $100, I just put $100 on this prepaid card. This is a prepaid card which is independent from a bank account even though the banks will want you to create an account with this prepaid card but this is independent you only use it for online business it is not linked to any bank account so i only put monies i'm buying with when i lose the card someone gets over the card i only lose the money on the card if it's linked to a bank account then someone can easily <laughs> enter your bank details and enter your accounts and do whatever he wants to uh, unlike an ATM card, just an ATM card is linked to your bank account, which is quite risky for me. I want my balance kept here and that psychologically makes my account a little bit formidable and robust. That means I'm doing business on the, on the account. Even though Ghana is not PayPal compliant, PayPal can easily find out that you are in Ghana and you are working from Ghana. <laughs> but if I am I'm from the US and I'm in Ghana, I'm eligible to use the account. So don't feel that it's unethical or anything. You just can use any account you want. Um, I don't believe in that. If you have a card linked to your account, let me hit on the bank aspect as well. Since Ghana is still paper compliant, we can use a bank from Ghana. But we need a card from a bank from Ghana. That is the difference. You can use the bank details, but you can use the card. You only need a US bank details or an European bank details to link to a bank. Then, then, then you can withdraw your money through a bank. I also mentioned in the video that it's not necessary to withdraw your money. It's better to use your money to buy online. Exchange rates and money transfer issues can eat all your money. You will <laughs> drain the cash. So, for example, if I, I wanted to accept the money and withdraw, I only get just about 20, 10 to $20 out of this $28. Exchange rate and other things would drain this money because it's going to go through a lot of online payment processes and before the money gets to you, the money is half gone. So, I prefer to use those monies to buy. There is more benefit in that. These are some transactions I've done online pertaining to this account and let me see more activities in the account i have bought a lot of things from fever or fiverr fiverr is a service provider where you have freelancers do just about anything for you i'll go to fiverr very soon to show you how you can you can deal with this fiverr gig okay let's go to fiverr this is fiverr and i have a link directly to Fiverr for you to create your account or use this service. This is one of the best things that's happened to us because instead of finding a freelancer or someone to do anything for you, this is crazy. There are people all over the world who can do almost anything for you service wise. So you want a logo design, a brand style guide, business card, stationery, design. You only need to get these designs and find a printer or someone who does printing and he'll print it out for you this is world class you only pay when you are satisfied with the work within a period of time and fiverr means at least five dollars worth of work you can get just about anything done for five dollars even though it's not feasible if you want premium and better work you need to pay more so digital marketing, just about anything, writing and translation, so many things. I'll do a separate video just on this platform and review it and show you how to create the account and maneuver your way through programming, websites, business, lifestyle. Even though the minimum is $5, there are people who are charging $500, $100, $50, up to 1000 for things that are premium or gigs that are premium you don't need to pay five dollars for a website you get something very nasty <laughs> pay the right price but this is a, an opportunity for you to get a pool of freelancers to choose from so i recommend this for you so let's say i want to get a logo i go to the logo design and there you have it 
you can see how it works how fiverr works and down here you come here always look at the reviews and the star ratings so you see this is a five star rating he has only worked for 13 people there are people who have worked for over thousand people this is one thousand one k that is over thousand one k means thousand plus and he's charging 155 starting at 155 dollars uh, people with fiverr's choice badges also charge more he's charging 35 dollars and more so it's more related to what he can do for you if you want something like this you should be ready to pay from 50 dollars upwards always read the reviews if you like what you see and you want to hire such a person so for example if i want to hire someone here to do something for me i like some of these minimalist logos they look good starting at hundred dollars you can get something like this done for you so just about anything online you can get here i think i search for this someone who can update your logo so you are so much in love with your old logo you would want to update it you don't want to change it this guy will do something for you in relation to that so you click on any gig and then you can look at samples of what he does so this is the before and after of a logo he worked on this is another one samples of work he can do for you and normally they have their names here most of them i think there is an indian farazia is a level two seller works for six, 46 people his work starts from ten dollars standard 20 and premium 75 basic is what ten dollars and this is what he can do for you in the basic gig and standard this is what he will do for you premium you definitely get more from that so you can compare packages or continue if you want to start with that so let's say i want to start with the ten dollars one if i continue because i have my paypal account linked to this um, fiverr account it would go into my account and deduct ten dollars from my account which i'm not ready to do that but basically that it is i have linked my paypal account to this fiverr account and if i go into my profile and look into my settings my paypal email is what i use for my payments so when you go to billing information paypal for payments and it has my email address there you can remove that if you don't want to use it anymore but basically paypal doesn't use a bank account or a series of numbers there's no numerals there paypal only uses your email address as your visa so the email address you use for your paypal account is what you put anywhere you want to pay for using paypal so you see it has encrypted my email address because this is my visa if i am paying or being paid of course fiverr is also a platform for people who want to be freelancers if you have or you can do any of these work you can also sign up as a seller and offer your skills as such you also be paid through paypal so that's just about it i talked about your africa card you can also link your your card if you prefer that for, as your payment option on fiverr so Fiverr is just one of the online platforms you can pay for. I'm just using that as an example. But basically, this is how PayPal works. You need the email address when you are done with your account. You put this anywhere. Immediately, you order. It will go into your PayPal account automatically. You see, these are all automatic payments, automatic payment. It will always prompt you if you should pay before you are paid. So let's go back. Go back again okay if i want to continue you see here it says this is what this guy would do for you that is when you are satisfied you can then order now and this is the total amount even though it was ten dollars 
service fee. Uh, this helps us to operate our platform and offer 24 7 customer support for your orders. So, this is what Fiverr also charge you for this service. And then you order for the service, and the person goes to work for you. You are only paid, sorry, the person is only paid when you are satisfied with the work. If you are not satisfied, you off order for a review so that he does what he wants for you. If you don't respond to them within three days, then the payment automatically goes through and the contractor or the person working on your logo will be paid. So uh, logos are not only what Fiverr will do for you. As I mentioned earlier, I will be doing a video on Fiverr for you. But you can use the link in the description area and find out more about Fiverr. So basically, this is how you shop online with your PayPal account. You only need your email address to do the payment. And then you can buy just about anything. Products or services from Amazon, from um, eBay, any online platform of your choice. This is how you go about it. So um, see you later. Have a nice day.